Hey, it's April with A Possible Diet. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make my Thai peanut sauce and dip um, from my book, The Possible Diet. This is a really handy dip. I use it to dip vegetables into. I use it to make Asian coleslaw. That recipe is also in the book. And then I'm going to use it in another video that I'm going to link to this one for um, peanut sesame noodles. It's super versatile and um, it's low sugar, low carb, high protein, and it's pretty zesty. You can also customize it. So add a little more lime juice if you like it more tart, a little more garlic, a little more ginger. Um, I wanna encourage you to make the recipe your own um, and you know just find what you like because that's how you learn to eat healthy. You try something and then you try something else and then you find something you love. So. Um, to make this, I it's a lot of ingredients, so I prepped a little bit for you. Um, in one container, you want to mix a fourth cup of lime juice, three tablespoons of unseasoned rice vinegar. Uh, check the rice vinegar label, make sure there's no sugar in it. It should say unseasoned on it. Um, two to three tablespoons of soy sauce. I start with two and then I add more if I need it to be a little more salty. Um, two teaspoons of Red Boat fish sauce. I Red Boat's my favorite ba brand. Um, I do use like this chili paste that has a fishy umami taste, but when it comes to fish sauce, I use Red Boat. And um, a fourth cup of golden monk fruit. And I use Lakanto, but you can use Anthony's. I've used Health Garden before. I like the mellowness of the golden monk fruit, but you can certainly use um, stevia drops or whatever you like um, to taste once the sauce is completely mixed. Uh, you can sweeten it to your taste. It has a little bit in there. It has a little more than you would think in there, but this makes a lot of sauce, so that's why. So you wanna mix those things. They're kind of like watery, vinegary, acidy things in one container and then add the monk fruit to it so that it kind of like dissolves for a little bit. You wanna set that aside. And then in a separate container, you want to have a quarter cup of peanut or avocado or some other neutral oil that you have. Um, I didn't have any avocado, so I just used um, this algae oil that I have that just has no flavor. Vegetable oil is fine too. Two tablespoons of toasted sesame oil. Toasted sesame oil is slightly different than regular sesame oil. It has a stronger flavor. Um, I found mine at Trader Joe's, so you can check it out there. Half a teaspoon of sriracha, more if you like it spicy. Um, start with a half a teaspoon and then add more after you taste it. Uh, two tablespoons of minced ginger. Um, I use our favorite uh, gourmet garden paste you can certainly use fresh ginger if you're so inclined to grate it or mince it. Um, another tablespoon of powdered ginger. I use the powdered ginger because it's super intense and it's not as expensive as fresh ginger, but I like the combination of both. Um, it gives it a little bit of a different dimension. And then a tablespoon and a half of fresh minced garlic. Again, I'm using my stir and paste because I love that. So uh, put that in a separate container. I have the oils in here and I'm gonna go ahead and add Ginger, Ooh, a little bit too small. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't rehearse these recipes and you're just used to making them all the time. I should change the title of this show to The Possible Diet Live because I'll be honest with you, most of these videos are live first time I recorded myself making these recipes. Um, even though I usually just make them, I mean, these are the recipes that I lived off of for a year trying to lose 50 pounds because I just came back to them time and time again. And that's what you find when you're trying to lose weight and you realize that it is gonna be a dig to China. Like it's, it's gonna be steps that you take every single day for weeks and weeks and weeks. Uh, this is garlic, so I'm gonna do a tablespoon and a half. It's three of these, because this is a half a tablespoon measure. And again, I really just eyeball it. It's easier for me to use these paste than to constantly be um, mincing garlic. Uh, fresh garlic is great, but 
a lot of recipes this is just as good and it's a lot easier um but i do like it better than like the jarred garlic um just because it's fresher so give that a whisk powdered ginger and the garlic and then go ahead and add your fresh ginger two tablespoons of fresh ginger, getting down to the end of this. And again, I know this has a lot of ingredients in it and you can definitely find simpler recipes online, um, but I like it. These are the last three limes off my sister's tree. And as soon as I saw them, I was like, I'm doing a tutorial for my Thai dipping sauce because they're the last lines of the season and they're so good because they're fresh. So give this a good whisk. And then you want to have a half a cup of peanut butter. I use organic, creamy, all natural peanut butter. I know it's annoying because you got to stir it. But if you look at the nutrition facts and the ingredients on this versus other brands, um, I won't mention any, but uh, their label usually says peanut butter spread because it's not exactly peanut butter. You will see that those brands, you know, they have hydrogenated oil in them or fractionated palm oil or, you know, ingredients other than just peanuts and salt. So stick with the peanuts and salt. You're going to get a half a cup of this a half a cup is like the smallest measurement on this giant measuring cup and then first pour in your oily mix now when i use this for the peanut sesame noodles tutorial i actually add tahini to those um you can add tahini to this and see if you like the taste of it. I recommend not adding it to the whole thing because then you'll ruin it all if you don't like the flavor. Um, take a little bit, add a little bit of tahini, see if you like the flavor. If you do, mix it in. You could also have two jars of it, one of peanut sauce and one of peanut tahini sauce. And if you're allergic to peanuts, try making this sauce with sunflower seed butter. You might like it. I make um, these protein balls with peanut butter for my sister so that she has a high protein, low carb snack. She's a busy mom and I like helping her out. And a friend of hers is allergic to peanuts. So we tried making the same balls with sunflower seed butter and they turned out pretty good. Her friend loved them. So um, again, it all comes back to experimenting. Try what you like, see how you like it, change it up, don't be afraid. And then you wanna pour your liquid ingredients in here. There's that golden monk fruit way at the bottom. Like I said, you can use non-golden monk fruit if all you have is, you know, a sugar sweetener. This has a quarter cup in it. So unless you're using something super concentrated like stevia drops, if you're using a one-to-one -one sugar substitute, try with two tablespoons first, taste it. If it's not sweet enough for you, add another tablespoon, taste it, add another one. Um, I try to not have more than a couple of tablespoons of... Um, artificial sweetener a day. It just upsets my stomach if I have more. All right, so now you have your dressing. Give it a taste. That's pretty good. Um, if you like it thicker, add more peanut butter. Um, if you like it more sour, add more lime juice. If you like it more savory, Try adding more garlic, more ginger, more soy sauce, more fish sauce. Um, these recipes are meant to be a base that you can then adapt to your own tastes. Um, some people will try this and it'll be perfect. And some people will, you know, want it to have a little bit more of something or some other thing. But please try things, experiment, find out what you like. That's what this is all about. Um, I'll be back in another video to show you 
how to use this um, to make peanut sesame noodles. But for now, uh, refer to the possible diet if you wanna find out what you need to do to make Asian coleslaw with it. Enjoy.